All right, wonderful people. <clears throat> Let's, um, we've taken a minute to kind of remind ourselves about how we look for theme. So I want to remind you of um, what I'm hoping to see in your note taking strategies. So um, what we're going to do for chapter 11 is I'm going to read it aloud in this video and we are going to jot down some notes together. Okay. So when prompted in the video, it says, go back and add to your own notes. So I would like to see these things that I'm going to tell you in your notes. These are free notes. Yay. Free notes. Okay. So chapter 11, um, the first thing that I kind of want to remind us of is um, when we first talked about theme at the beginning of this unit, the ways that we look for it is how a character grows and changes, which we're going to keep track of more in the second half of the book. Um, conflicts of the story. So this is the obstacles or barriers that we're taking notes on for barriers Jade crosses. So every time you see that, you can think about obstacles or conflicts as well. That whole big idea is one way that we're going to see theme in this book. Um, the other thing is that our chapter titles that we've been tracking give us kind of foreshadowing or like a clue of what's to come. Um, and it's always connected to the theme. So in this chapter, chapter 11, the title Buenas Dias, Good Morning, is um, a foreshadowing, a clue of something um, good that's happening for Jade, okay? So um, for now, I'm just gonna chop, chop, excuse me, chop, mm, jot, cannot talk, jot down chapter 11, Buenas Dias. I don't have to write down every title. Um, this one I'm just modeling for you because it's super important. So um, I'm gonna read the chapter. I'd love it if you're following along in your book. And if for some reason you don't have a book, uh, the pages are right here. Okay, here we go. Uh, the radio blares out today's forecast rain. I'm in the kitchen pouring milk into my bowl of cereal. Mom reaches for the carton and pours a splash into her coffee. So I see your mentor came bearing gifts. That was nice of her. She chose the best stuff, mom, like the good stuff. I see that, mom says. She looks at the dry erase board on the fridge and studies the calendar. On Monday, I'm staying after school for a National Honor Society meeting. Wednesday and Thursday are Tudor Josiah, and Friday night there's a one-on-one -on -one mentoring outing with Maxine. Busy week, huh? Always, I say. It'll be worth it, Mom tells me. She drinks more of her coffee, traces the rim of the mug with her finger. So when do I get to meet this mentor of yours? I don't like you coming and going with some stranger I don't know. I don't know, maybe on Friday when she comes to pick me up. I finish my last bites, drink my milk, and get up from the table. What's her name again? Maxine. I need her number. I pick up the dry erase marker and write Maxine's number on the board. Mom always questions me when I meet someone new. In middle school, she hardly let me spend the night at any friend's houses, even if she met their parents. She'd say, I don't know what those people do in their homes. So pausing there for a second, um, this is a potential barrier for Jade, right? She's got this protective, tough, awesome mom. Um, but one of the sort of side effects of that is she's... Um, been kind of so protected that she doesn't necessarily get to see a lot of the world outside her home. Okay. So I'm going to put that in as a barrier obstacle. Uh, mom doesn't trust others. Tough role model caring, but so protective. Jade doesn't see much of the world. A lot of spelling errors in there. I'm just going to go back and fix. Um, and this is in chapter 11. I'm going to put the page number. So I've got it. Check in my book because I don't think it's in the photo. Page 48. Good. Um, so pausing, if you see any of that kind of like tension, um, conflicts, obstacles, all of that is what's going to go here under barriers. Back to the text. Um, Mom gets up from the table and washes her plate. I go into the fridge and give her the lunch she packed. Have a good day, we both say at the same time. When Mom leaves, the door slips out of her hand and slams. EJ doesn't budge. He could sleep through an earthquake. 
I finish getting ready for school and head out to the bus stop. As I wait for the bus, a woman walks up to me looking confused. She's holding the hand of a young boy who is almost as tall as she is. When she says, excuse me, excuse me, I recognize an accent. She points to the sign and mimes a question. I don't understand what she's trying to say. Hablas Espanol, I ask. Si, sí, si, sí, she says. She hands me a wrinkled flyer and asks me for directions in Spanish. She's at the wrong bus stop. I point toward the corner and tell her which way to go. Doble a la derecha, turn right. She thanks me several times. When I get on the bus, I think about how proud Mr. Flores would be. He's always telling us that having a real conversation is the best way to learn a foreign language. I think about all the travel words and phrases Mr. Flores has taught us and how ready I am to use them. Que hora es? What time is it? Donde esta la partida? Where is the departure? Donde esta la salida? Where is the exit? Cuanto cuesta? How much does it cost? Tiene una mapa que indique las paradas? Do you have a map showing the stops? I know Mr. Flores thinks he's preparing us for surviving travel abroad, but these are the questions my purpose is asking. I am finding a way to know these answers right here, right now. So there are a lot of moments in this book uh, where Renee Watson kind of alludes to a bigger purpose or our theme when she's telling sort of a small story about Jade. And this is a perfect example. So um, I underlined some of these questions and we're gonna take some time together to write down one piece of evidence from chapter 11 that's connected to the theme of finding yourself or finding your way. That's kind of one of the big themes or ideas of the book. And in this chapter, she's kind of triumphant. She's used her Spanish to help somebody else and she's ready, like she says. Uh, to know these answers right here, right now, to figure out for herself, where is the exit? How much does it cost? Do you have a map, right? And you can think about where is she trying to exit from and where is she trying to go? We know she's got big dreams to travel the world and that she's facing some obstacles. So you can pick for yourself what piece of evidence you want to use from chapter 11 I'm going to just model one example in the notebook um, by recording it here next to the chapter title. So the meaning is the part that I'm going to keep with. So buenos dias, good morning, because Jade uses her skills to help someone find their way. And then I think for myself, Uh, probably where is the exit or do you have a map are going to be the um, pieces of evidence that for me most closely show her um, not just helping this person, but finding her own way. Um, and I'm going to put that last line I think is so crucial. These are the questions my purpose is asking. I'm finding a way to know these answers right here, right now. And that's page 49. So this connects to that big theme of finding her way. Jade is finding some answers. Good. So your um, meanings for each chapter don't have to be as long as this, but it's more useful to you uh, to record less chapter titles and what they mean than to just have a list of every chapter title. So I would rather see like one chapter title with an awesome explanation or two than a bunch of chapter titles without sort of the meaning behind it. So that meaning, just to bring us back to theme, is um, where we get some really clear clues. So every story in this book Kind of starts us out with a clue based on the chapter title and then usually at some point in that short story we get sort of a, a reminder of one of the big themes about finding yourself about power about navigating barriers these are all the big questions essential questions of our novel 
Um, and just to remind you, they're right here at the start of our notebook. So anytime you hear something in a story that has to do with uh, navigating a barrier or an obstacle, um, a sense of power um, or identity, any of those things could potentially link back to one of our themes. Um, so I'm going to pause here and give you a chance to add, make sure you've added your own evidence um, to your notebook for chapter 11. And thank you so much for watching.